Hello everybody, it's the great Mr. M here and this morning I have a science experiment for you guys. So this is going to be a really cool science experiment. You might have seen it before. You might have even tried it before in school. It involves a candle, a lighter, if you're young, definitely get your parents involved, and it involves a balloon. Now, we're going to do one part of this experiment because this is the main part of the experiment. You also need some water. So we'll use the sink here. First thing you're gonna do is put some water into the balloon. So now you have water in the balloon. Now you're gonna blow up the balloon. You don't have to blow it up too big. Tie off the balloon. So now you have a water-filled balloon, just like that. See, the water's inside. Now, what you're gonna do, let's hope this works, folks. Not create a mess. Carefully light the candle. Now, comes the fun part. We're gonna hold this balloon over the candle. Think it's gonna pop? Let's find out. It's not popping. I could touch the flame. It's not popping. Look at that, folks. It is literally not popping. See? In fact, I'll bring the camera even closer to prove to you and show you that it's not popping. Look. Oh, that won't work. Gotta do it this way. Bring the camera closer. There we go. All right, there, you see the candle? Snuffed out the balloon, not snuffed out the candle. But look, the balloon just got some black on it, but it did not pop. So why didn't the balloon pop? Well, this is the air part of the balloon. If you hold this over the candle, it probably would have popped and you would have created a mess. But the water absorbs the heat from the candle. So the water in the balloon is basically just boiling when you hold it over the candle flame. A really cool experiment you could try. It's called the unburstable balloon. And as you see, it works.